What is it like, the outside world? I'm like an indoor cat, always wonder the answer. At the age of 19, I made a significant decision for myself. In 2009, I left Shenyang, the city I lived in for 19 years, for Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada, and became an international student at UPEI. First, I left Shenyang for Beijing by train. Then I flew to Toronto and stayed at Toronto Airport for the whole night. Finally, I took a small plane and flew to Charlottetown. The whole trip took me two days. I was awake for these two days because I couldn't fall asleep at all. The townhouse which I rented was totally empty. Tables? I don't have. Chairs? Nope. Fry pans? Don't have either. Of course, there was no Wi-Fi or electricity at the beginning. Mr. Landlord was a good man. He helped me pick up an abandoned mattress. I sleep on it for my first year in Canada. Situation was better in the second year. I picked up another abandoned mattress. Fortunately, bed bugs never visited. I went for shopping by myself for the first time. I purchased beef, bread, and juice. I wanted to make myself a stick, just like a Canadian. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I didn't have a fry pan. <laughs> But it's fine. I put the beef in the freezer. I could cook it later. I ate the bread and juice for all my meals, just like a Canadian. Three days later, I finally got the fry pan and electricity. I opened the freezer to take out the triple A beef. Yay! The beef was totally corrupted. My freezer was unbelievable stink. I had to throw the beef into the garbage bin. Do you know what is more interesting? Canadian garbage bin has two kinds of color. <laughs> I threw the beef directly into the green garbage bin. This night, I laid on my mattress and thought, Charlottetown was too great. The people were friendly and the weather was always good. I wake up the next morning and I open the door. Whoa! I saw a lot of crows and flies too. They were all aiming at the crafted beef I throw into the garbage bin. Even that was cool. I ate a hamburger for the lunch that day. Um, it was five Canadian dollars, you know. Um, when you enter a foreign country with a different currency, you tend to use the exchange rate to calculate the price in home country's currency. A $5 burger is 30 Chinese yuan. Cool. I ate a 30 yuan burger. I took the bus home. I was the only passenger on the bus. And I got on the bus by using my student ID. How wonderful it was. By this time, everything in Canada was just great. However, things won't be great all the time. Problems start coming. One friend of mine told me a story of he purchased a burger. The burger was $5, but the cashier asked me for $5.75. Of course I wouldn't accept it. I went back to the cashier. You know what? I ended up paying $6 for this burger. 36 yuan for a burger. Can you imagine that? Well, this was the story how he learned the words of tax and tips. <laughs> 2011, I was in the business building one day. I saw a person of business society was selling a t-shirt for $15 each. In the front of the t-shirt, there was a hook hooking a bra. And on the back, there was a time schedule uh, with several pubs name on it. It's for the pub crown, the business society person said. We have already sold many t-shirts. We will go to the pub together in this night. And we'll go through all the pubs as scheduled. 
you must go this pub. There will be many old gentlemen and old lady there. We will play bingos with them. Woohoo! And that sounds amazing. You know what? After one year, I have arrived to Canada. I finally had a chance to participate a true Canadian party. I paid the fifteen dollars or ninety yuan, and I, that night I put on the shirt and went to the first bar on time. Then I found that I was the only one who was wearing a T-shirt, which there was a hawk hawking a bra in the front. The bartender told me to try out the other bars. I waited for another hour and went to the second bar. Again, I was the only one wearing a weird T-shirt. I went to the third bar an hour later. I was still the only one. I finally went to the pub must go. Well, the person was right. There, there were old gentlemen and old ladies in the pub, and they were playing bingos. I finally realized that pub must go and playing bingos were actually jokes. Bingo. I I didn't know what to do next. I really don't. Like if nobody was going to show up, why did they print the schedule on the T-shirt? I walked home that night. And that night it was really cold. In the other day, I heard the business society had a great night at the pub crown, and that was how I learned that two Canadian students never went to a pub before 11 p.m., even there was a schedule. Things started. Going down after this point, I found myself difficult to join Canadian students' conversation. I had little knowledge or interest in hockey. I couldn't recognize a Canadian politician, and it was hard to express myself in a study group because I spoke slower. The other group members had little patience to hear them all. My ideas. Were always the minorities. S sometimes I lay down on my two mattresses and thought, "Ah,、huh, this is the feeling of lonely and homesick." 2012, I participated co-op program and I found a job as a collection officer at Canada Revenue Agency. Well, it was a great experience. I still remember that. Uh, there was an old lady crying on the other side of the phone. I comforted her. I talked softly, and I helped her to solve her tax problem. In return, this lady taught me how to distinguish a boiled egg and an unboiled egg. You turn them. <laughs> well, it felt good to help the others and get the job done. However. I could feel that my psychological health is getting worse and worse. I lose many friends because I had a totally different schedule. I worked from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and become sleepy after 10 p.m. Well, my friends wake up at 10 a.m. and went to bed at 2 a.m. I felt anxious. And couldn't fall asleep. I have nobody to talk to. I video chatted with my parents. They ask me every time, "Son, is everything all right? Do you need anything?" I always answered, "Everything is great." Nothing was great. I cried. The good thing is, even I cannot see. There will always be a sunrise in the morning. It all started from an online chat. The flight distance between Shenyang and Shaotan was 10,214 kilometers. 
We lived in the same city for more than 15 years and we have never met before. After traveling to the other side of the earth, we met each other. Happiness came so sudden, I was still unprepared. We went for dinner together. We went shopping together. We celebrated Chinese Spring Festival together. We listened to each other. I was still a Chinese student, the Asian guy, the international student, but I was not alone anymore. 2013, I took the course of cultural psychology and I learned the psychological changes of one who enters a new culture. Generally, there are three stages. The first stage is the honeymoon. New immigrants will generally feel happy at this stage. They are curious about all the stuff of the new culture, but they will enter the second stage of culture shock. At this stage, new immigrants feel lonely, homesick, and other negative feelings about the new culture. Finally, most of people will adjust themselves. By this time, new immigrants enter the stage of adjustment. The negative feelings disappear, so do the curiosity. 2014, I took another psychology course of creativity. The professor asked us to create something. I decided to create this video, not only to get credits for this course, but also to do a review of all my four and a half years university life as an international student. To study abroad can be fun, can be tough as well. Sometimes it is so horrible that you want to just give up. But when you graduate and look back all the experience you had, it is a feeling cannot be told. Thank you.